What's up guys, it is BrickLover18 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this LEGO Space System set, which is set number 10497, the Galaxy Explorer. This set was launched here in 2022 as a spin-off of LEGO's classic space line that was released in the 1980s, and is to help celebrate LEGO's 90th anniversary of the year of play and the 90th anniversary of this company. Classic space has been a much loved and admired theme here in the LEGO universe, and that's why I am so excited to be checking this set out today and giving you a full review and showing you all the marvels of this incredible set. Like many of you guys, I am a big fan of the Classic Space LEGO line. I grew up playing with this line when it was my dad's LEGO, obviously not mine, but I grew up playing with the Classic Space sets while I was a kid, and it just brings back so many amazing memories for me, and that's exactly what this set does here, and I'm super excited to give you guys a better look at it. So for starters, this set does come with four LEGO minifigures and a bunch of additional play features, including other spaceships, as well as ATVs, and this really cool looking little robot guy. To address the elephant in the room, you guys see how I have this set displayed here. No, this is not an actual part of the Lego set. This stand is something that I custom made. So for the rest of this review video, I'm going to be just showing you the actual spaceship as it came from the Lego box without my custom stand. And that looks like this. I do like this set with the custom stand I made because this is what the spaceship looks like lying flat on the ground. And this is what the spaceship looks like with the landing gear that LEGO included in this set. And while it looks awesome, it just still doesn't give you the same vibe if you're going to want to display this on the shelf. So just by looking at this set, I am already a huge fan. I just think it was absolutely incredible and it was so much fun to build. There is so much detail when it comes to this set. And let me just try and do my best to describe it to you without being a spaceship expert. So for starters here, I really like the design here at the front of the set. It kind of looks like a slice of pizza and I honestly just think Lego made it so good turning it into a triangle there. I think that was so difficult to do and you know not something I would have done and not something you see in the classic space sets from many many years ago. So honestly I'm just pretty impressed that Lego made that work and made it look so good. There is so much detailing here with multiple different levels, lots of different tiles, the use of snot which is studs not on top and more. Moving on here into the base of the build we actually get the cockpit area and the main parts of the build where a lot of the bricks are. So there's actually two different cockpits here. There's the one on the front which allows you to seat your four minifigures right here. This is what it looks like with the minifigure sitting inside here and I like the fact that they can keep their space packs on while they drive and it was you know ingenious of LEGO to use that kind of seating design versus some of the other seats they've done in the past. You guys can see this is a custom printed tile here, which is really exciting. It is not a slope, it is a 2x4 tile with the classic space logo there. And you guys can see on the cockpit here, there is just a lot of computer pieces. It is a mix of printed pieces as well as sticker pieces, which look really, really cool and I do like them. So much computers, and you know, they didn't nearly have this many computers back in the 1980s, so it's really, really cool to see that. And like I mentioned, there are four seats, enough room for each of the four spacemen that we'll take a look in a little bit. We've also got some numbering on the side here, which is LL928, which I'm not sure uh, if there is a specific reference to that other than the sets that it's kind of mimicking from the 80s or not, um, but it is still pretty, pretty cool. And then on the back here, like I mentioned, we've actually got the second cockpit area because back here is actually kind of a little living quarters, again, for the spaceship. So we've got some counters. It looks like we've got some pods there, a lot more computers. We've got a really cool looking doorway here, which I really like to look at, and you'll see that in a little bit and honestly so much more. What I find pretty genius about this cockpit and the fact that these beds are here, you can actually put your Lego minifigure in it, lying down, and leave their space pack on, which I think is really cool. You know, at first when I was building it thinking, you know, this is a sink or like what is this random thing? No, they're actually beds and they made it so that they can keep their oxygen pack on the back and not have to remove it. And of course you guys see there are two beds there and then the cockpit does fold down like this. Here's just another overview of what this spaceship looks like so far absolutely blown away by all the incredible details there, the slopes and just the tiles and making it look and have this really nice feel because it's also a pretty sturdy spaceship and you guys will see that when I lift it up. On each side here we've actually got these two jet engines and no they're not just jet engines like I also thought they were when I first did the building. They actually detach 
and these spacemen can actually ride them. So they sit on them just like that and then they can easily ride around the galaxy, drive around the universe, which looks really, really cool and is not something I would have expected. I originally thought this was just detailing into the Lego build here, but that actually is not the case and it doesn't actually go on like this. I should uh, switch that around. It does fold uh, on this side, so it does just look like a regular jet engine. You know, there's no random studs or anything in the way, but when you do pop that out and flip it around, you can have a minifigure ride it, which is really cool. This is what the side profile looks like of this set. You guys can see the space engines here where I've already showed the fact that the minifigures can ride them. You can see down on here on the side we've actually got the little safe which actually contains some gear for the astronauts. So those minifigures could pick out any of the gear that they need uh, you know, for their space mission or anything like that. It's an extra space pack and some tools in there. We've got this cool iteration here of the Lego speakers. I remember as a kid the 80 sets always had these like speaker things. Um, I don't believe Lego makes that part anymore so what they've actually done is use a couple different bucket pieces here and put them all together which looks really really cool and below that there's actually an arrow here which is neat and no that is not a sticker or even a printed piece that is actually entirely made from lego bricks which i think is really really neat you know towards the back of the spaceship here there's just some more jet engines here and some really cool detail that looks like the back of the spaceship is neat and what's really neat about that is this actually pops open and down goes the gangplank as well as the opportunity to roll out a cool ATV onto this build that the minifigures can drive around. So that was a very, very smooth process. Like you saw, this 8x16 tile just comes out, the ATV drives up it, and then easily goes back into place and locks in place. Back here you can see there is a lot more detail as well into the back of the spaceship. We've got that door like I mentioned that you can easily open and shut, which I think looks really really cool and it's just like a nice detail there. Lego didn't really need to include that but it's cool and we've also got some windows looking into the cockpit. On each side you guys can see this is what the aero decal looks like from the inside, or not the decal but the design, sorry. And then of course there is some more tools there and some walkie talkies. I personally was really impressed with LEGO's pretty flawless design here because unless you've watched a review or really seen the set up close, it doesn't really look like anything special happens back here when you're just looking at the set. But of course, like you guys just saw, when you easily pry these two things apart, push this down and pull this out, it really slides off nice and easy. And here's just another look at the spaceship in a little bit more detail here so you guys can see a lot of the marvelous build practice and some of the building techniques that really went into this. Like I mentioned, I actually had a ton of fun doing the build of the set just because I think there's so many different Easter eggs to what the classic space sets back in the 80s actually looked like. And of course, it was just so much fun to actually design and build and now get to have here on display in my Lego room. It is a very good, you know, in between of the classic 80s sets as well as Benny Spaceship from the Lego movie movie, the original Lego movie, which is still a set that I really like having on display because I think it's awesome. Like I mentioned earlier, this spaceship is pretty stable. What's really cool about it is you can easily pick it up and I don't feel like it's going to collapse or break and it does feel like it has some play features in it. You can actually flip it on the bottom here and get a little glimpse of what this set actually looks like. Here you can see the landing gear which I've already had up throughout the duration of this video and you can easily fold that down so it makes it completely flat on the bottom. And no, to my knowledge, these have no special features or anything like that. They are just kind of there. And then of course you can easily flip Flip this set back over and set it back down with or without the landing gear on to enjoy the rest of the set in its glory. And guys, like I did mention, this set does come with four LEGO minifigures, which look really, really cool. We've got two of the white classic spacemen and two of the red ones, as well as this really interesting little robot or whatever that is in the center here. Not entirely sure. It's kind of like a portable coffee maker. But anyway, the minifigures themselves are pretty cool. They are the classic spacemen to a T. It even has the old helmet style, which I really appreciate, not the newer one with the divots in it. Each one is got their standard color of torso and pants, the respective one. They've got the classic space logo up in between they're wearing the space pack on the back here as well as they have the classic smile with just the two dots and the one little line and while i know this set's not going to be everyone's cup of tea i actually had so much fun building and now displaying the lego galaxy explorer set which is set number 10497 like i mentioned earlier this set just brings back so many incredible memories for me as a kid and growing up playing with these classic space sets i'm so excited to see lego has done this for the 90s 
90th year of play, and I hope LEGO continues to do more sets like this because it is just truly so much fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's review of set number 10497, the LEGO Space Systems Galaxy Explorer set. This is a really cool set if you're even remotely interested in the classic space line, so I would highly recommend you check it out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.